Red Faction 1 was very successful right out of the gate. The ratings were really high, got a lot of very positive reaction out of the fans. And there we were, planning the sequel immediately. In Red Faction 1, our standard enemies were humans and these mutant creatures that you had to fight. In Red Faction 2, you had humans again and these nano-zombies. In Red Faction Guerrilla, we just stuck with the humans, but gave them some pretty nasty weapons and vehicles that you had to try to deal with. We really start to build up this sci-fi franchise. We've taken this, and we've actually wrote Red Faction and Armageddon. I didn't expect to see you again. It's a new story in the Mason lineage, but also we're kicking back to some of the old Red Factions as well. Looks quiet to me. Picking anything up? Negative. Something's not right. So there's an entirely different scale of enemies that you're going to be fighting, and therefore different tactics that you have to use. We now have aliens this time, it's these creatures that have been living on Mars. You'll see the creepers, which are the first low line of enemies that you'll face in the game. These guys like to melee you, they like to spit acid at you. Then we have the Ravagers, they're kind of like the mid-level infantry. They stick to buildings, they can throw lightning bolts at you. And then we have some of the bigger enemies, the tanks, the heavies. They can overrun you, they can stomp on you. Beyond that, it's just destructive weapons, destructive environments, new ways of approaching battles with enemies. Geomod means geometry modification. You fire a rocket at that wall, it shouldn't just turn black. There should be a hole in that wall, and you know it should go through that wall and blow up something on the other side of that wall. Our prime weapon, our signature weapon, is, is definitely the magnet gun. The magnet gun in Red Faction Armageddon is this amazing piece of weaponry where the player fires out an attractor, and then you fire out the second part, which is propelled towards whatever you put the attractor on. We've given you a nano forge so that now you actually can repair structures as well. You can blow up a bridge or access points to you so that the enemy can't get to you, but then you can repair that bridge and get out of there. We've had a lot of fun being able to come up with some of these types of weapons that are really maximizing destruction. I think at the core of it, it is a game, it's entertainment, and it's gotta be fun. I think we've really tightened it up with Red Faction Armageddon. It's still the only destruction game in town. You know, we give a lot for fanboys, but we also want to cater this, so if you're new to the Red Faction universe, you can jump in and see what you've been missing all these years.